The next theory uh, that we are going to discuss is theory of relaxification. Theory of relaxification is an attempt to offer a more profound and more believable explanation for the similarities that exist between different pigeons and creoles. Uh, according to this theory, all European based pigeons in the world originated from a single source. So, in this way, it is a monogenetic theory. Uh, and that single source was a lingua franca called Saber. Saber was a lingua franca which was used on trading routes in the Mediterranean Sea in the Middle Ages. That is the time period from the 5th to the 15th century. In the 14th and 15th century, Portuguese relaxified this lingua franca that is Saber. Before we continue, let's take a look at what we mean by relaxification relaxification is a process of let's say language change it is a mechanism in which uh, the vocabulary of a language is changed with the vocabulary of another language although the vocabulary of the language is changed its grammatical structure remains largely intact which means that the relaxified language does not change its grammatical structure um so um the pigeon was uh, the um, lingua franca saber was relaxified uh, relaxified and um we had a, a portuguese based pigeon later on this portuguese pigeon was in turn more relaxified into pigeonized french pigeonized english spanish and so on so what happened what we mean is that um, after saper was relaxified and uh, um, gave birth to um, a pigeonized uh, a portuguese pigeon this portuguese pigeon was again relaxified uh, and included and replaced its vocabulary with that of other european languages for example english spanish french etc uh, but retained its grammatical structure so we had um, uh, pigeonized French, pigeonized English, etc. Um, so we can see that uh, Saber um, branched into or uh, uh, led to the um, creation of Portuguese pigeon. And this Portuguese, Portuguese pigeon then branched into Atlantic Portuguese pigeon and Indian Pacific Portuguese pigeon depending on uh, whether it was used by countries along uh, the Atlantic Ocean or by the people living in the countries along Pacific and Indian Ocean. The Atlantic Portuguese pigeon include um, such pigeons as uh, Guinea Creole, which is a Portuguese variety. Then we have um, Papiamento, which is a Spanish variety. And then we have Jamaican, which is used uh, widely used in uh, Caribbean countries, which is an anglicized variety that is based on English. And then we have uh, Louisiana, which is a Creole used in Haiti, and it is a French-based pigeon. And now it actually has become a Creole. Similarly, some Indo-Pacific Portuguese uh, pigeons um include uh, some gallicized varieties which means some french varieties um these indo-pacific portuguese pigeons and further branched into some french varieties um for example uh, the variety that which is used in seychelles in australia and then we had netherlandized varieties of pigeon for example african which is used in south africa and then we have an anglicized variety which means an english-based pigeon called torque which is used in papua new guinea